everybody, and welcome to part 5 of Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal. So in the last episode, we went to Planet Mercadia and saved the president. Today we actually want to go and play that Quark Vid comic that we found in the last episode. So without further ado, let's dive in. Watch and learn, Clank. This is how a real hero gets it done. These are the real-life adventures of Captain Quark, the greatest superhero the galaxy has ever known. Hey, this thing on? <clears throat> Meticulously reconstructed by our crack research team with the aid of eyewitness accounts, bathroom gossip, wild speculation, and a magic eight ball. In the early days of the fifth Solarian Equinox, the Solana Galaxy was terrorized by a notorious pirate known as Captain Blackstar. Ahoy! Anybody else got a craving for fish and chips? Though still in the prime of his youth, Captain Quark <laughs> was already a living legend. I was beating him up with a stick. However, no previous adventure could have prepared Quark for his encounter with the dread pirate Blackstar and his crew of... Oh, please tell me this is a typo. That's robotic pirate ghosts. Yes, reading wasn't your subject, eh, Professor? Right. Now we begin the interactive portion of Episode 1. Booty is in the eye of the beholder. So yay! We get to play as Captain Quark. The first game we actually get to do so, and then we don't get to actually play uh, until Captain Quark again in uh, All for One, which is the fourth or fifth uh, PS3 Ratchet Clank game. But anyways, yeah, uh, now this is really difficult on my small screen. Like, uh, this is just terrible. Uh, so if I fail, I really do apologize. I might edit out some of the fails. Uh, if they get too bad. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, if you collect all these, you get a titanium bolt. Uh, they're also worth bolts as well. And yeah, I died. That's, um, kind of embarrassing. So I guess I'll meet you back at the, uh, the, the elevator. Okay, so I made it back to where I died last time, and I'm already at low health. Like, jeez. Man, that sucks. Oh yeah, those red ones are worth ten. Uh, I think you already told us that, but I didn't tell you guys myself. And, yeah, we have warp platforms now. Pretty cool little feature, and I think there's a, I think there's a ten over there that I need to get. Uh, okay, I thought that, I didn't even think there was a platform there for a second. Just wish I didn't have to play on such a minimized screen. I did figure out how to record, uh, uh, bigger though, but then it gets like really, really blurry, so I have to still play on a small screen. I'll try playing bigger for like easier games, like older games that don't have as much detailing. But for right now, until I get my upgraded PVR once again, I have to play like this. And then you get a skill point in these levels for beating within a certain amount of time. So whenever that number there goes gray, you have failed. Uh, if it's white still by the time you beat the level, then you can get the uh, skill point. But until then, no, you don't get anything. So now it's just clear. These enemies should be able to progress. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's actually nothing exciting, but whatever. I don't think this is going to be a very long episode, because the next place we have to go to after this is ridiculously long, and I don't think I want to split it into two parts. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to record it though, because I do not. I, remember the place I said that I almost disliked as much as Mercadia? Yeah, we're going to it. But I dislike that place because of the way it's played, not by the way it looks. The way it looks is simply stunning. Like this place here, out of all the Captain Quark uh, fit comics they get, I think there's five in total. This is probably my least favorite like looking one, though it is a really cool one and I, and I do like it a lot. It's just I don't like the look of it. Doesn't mean I don't like the planet or like the bit comic or like the battle. It's just I'm not too too big. Oh my god, I'm about to die in one more hit. How embarrassing! And uh, okay, elevator. Let's do this. Okay, we slipped off the elevator. Now, are we far away from it? Elevator. Oh my god, platform. Jeez Louise, man, I can't talk today. But how you guys all doing today? Uh, like Tanuki Teddy always says. 
Uh, he's by far, far one of my favorite Let's Players, like I've said a million times before. Just kind of wish he would upload more frequently. Then again, I don't upload that frequently. And there we go, we got all the tokens, so we got a Titanium Bolt. Wicked, so I'll show off the skins eventually. I'll probably show them off once I get a good variety and can get quite a few skins. And our health upgrade, one per level. Yum, nom 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 nom. A nice, juicy health upgrade. I still thought it was funny back in the Planet Mercadia uh, video there when the when you know good with your your hand, uh, good with your hands and then Frat is like no sir I really and then it's like we need you to do this it's like oh okay yeah um, yeah we all know what he was talking about Ratchet and Clank is notoriously funny when it comes to sexual innuendos it always has been. If you even look at the names, going commando, like, you know, going butt naked, up your arsenal, like, you know, up your arse, but arsenals and weapons. Deadlock wasn't really funny, because it became more serious, and there, we defeated the giant worm monster, stir, stir. Yay! So, I forget how many bolts we actually get out of this. But we got the titanium bolt, which is great, so I'm gonna guess we're gonna get, what, like, 10,000? Only 6,000. What a joke. Well, I guess I'll see you guys after the cutscene. I mean, I've worked on some real junk, but this one takes a cake. Pirate, ghost, robots. I mean, what do they think? We're idiots? Hey, Professor, snap to it. <clears throat> Once again, the citizens of the Solana Galaxy owed their lives to the dauntless courage of the remarkable man behind the queue. With great reluctance, Quark accepted a meager fee for his services and promptly donated the entire sum to the Quark for Tots Scholarship Fund. A charity providing makeovers and buxom bimbos for needy people named Quark. I've got a big heart. Mr. President? Uh, yes, I got the fruit basket, thanks. It turns out I'm allergic to prunes. Yeah, <laughs> who knew? What? Blackwater City is under attack. Yes, sir, I'm on my way. The exciting, all true, right, <coughs> adventures of Captain Quark continue in episode two. handsome devil. It appears Quark has regained his memory. Hey, this dressing room isn't fit for a pig. What kind of shoddy production are you people running? That's him, all right. He may need a while to adjust. In the meantime, I've got a mission that's perfect for you, too. We've just learned of a prototype holographic device that can disguise the user as a Tyranoid, even allowing him to speak Tyranese. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you smell bananas? Anyway... <laughs> The device happens to be the grand prize on this week's Annihilation Nation. Check it out. Tonight on Annihilation Nation, we feature an all-new Death Horse. Let's meet tonight's victim. Oops, I mean, contestant, Fred! Fred is a Gadgetron accountant who claims he once had a Morpho Ray go off in his pants. What a chair. Let's take a look at what he's up against. Doesn't look too bad now, does it? Good luck, Fred! <laughs> Next! Another day, another death course. Okay, that was a long, annoying bunch of cutscenes, but yeah, uh, we get to go to Annihilation Nation, which is this game's Battle Arena Planet. Very, very, very simple, very easy to deal with, uh, it's pretty fun, get lots of bolts, but let's first check out some armor. We can now buy the Magnum Plate armor, which is a good investment before we go to a brand new planet. Sexy Ratchet, yeah. Yeah like, yeah, like I was saying though, there's like games like Quest for Booty, Crack in Time. The only one that out of the that series that wasn't really a 
funny one was uh, cra um, Future Tools of Destruction. It was like, really? It seriously isn't that funny at all. But let's see if we can buy a new color for a paint ship. Yeah, I, I know that. I can buy upgrades and paint. I've already shown my viewers before. Oh, Bonnie Orange. Let's buy it. Anyways, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this video. Remake, thumb, uh, remember to thumbs up the video. Uh, for more, Rash and Clank, up your arsenal. See you guys soon. This is Solo Warlock signing off. See you guys at Annihilation, ne uh, Annihilation Nation next time.